to my channel and some of you asked about Nash, so meet Nash the Wonder Dog. So this is Nash, she is 14 years old. She, we got her, she was there, yes. She loves fish folks, she loves anything fish. So if you want her to do something, and she's super camera shy, she hates the camera, but uh, if I want her to do something really special, then I give her these tiny little bits of these fish treats. Um, so we got Nash when she was only literally weeks old. Uh, we got her from a horrible breeder. Uh, we rescued her, it was a breed, a breed rescue, and she had pneumonia, she had to be bottle fed, and our vet was like, okay, I'm gonna donate the services, but honestly, Alicia, this dog probably won't make it 24 hours. So our vet, Jackie Greenwood, who is the most caring human being on the face of the planet, she's now retired, um, she took care of Nash, nurtured her, helped us, taught us how to look after a very sick dog, and lo and behold, 14 years later, here is Nash the Wonder Dog, healthy as can be. So. I know uh, many of you watched that video months, a couple of months ago where I told you in the 100 Subby Challenge why Lily you know, made such a big difference in my life. And one of the things is that a year ago, just a little bit more than a year ago now, I woke up one morning and both my hands and my arms were not working. Good girl, Nash. They were not working and they were completely paralyzed. And folks, I have to tell you, it was really shocking. And we called my specialist and we rushed me to the hospital and he got me an emergency MRI. And everyone thought it was probably just a muscular thing or something in my back or my spine. I must've thrown it out doing something like lifting something. No folks, it turns out what I had was something very rare, even for autoimmune disease. Like I live with a really complicated autoimmune disease, but even so what happened was very rare. I had something called a vascular stroke and it's very much like having a regular stroke, only it's vasal based. And oh, now she okay? She gets very excited when she gets the street. Um, so it's a very, it's like a regular stroke, only it is caused by the autoimmune system attacking the nerve centers and it's quite serious and they it's so rare that the specialist they sent me to the cleveland clinic and unfortunately even there people who were who have done papers on this were like look this happens so infrequently we can't tell you if you'll ever regain use of your hands either hand or your arm and in fact we don't even think it's worth doing physio or anything until we figure out why this happened and try to medicate it well, folks, I couldn't live with that. That was like crazy to me. I'm a writer. I use my hands every day. I'm a professor. I teach. I also like to make things, as you know. So not using my hands or arms was not an option for me. So I spoke to my specialist, and he and I come from the same, we're cut from the same cloth, thank goodness. And he was like, you know what? It can't hurt anything. Why don't you start working with a physiotherapist? Let's find you a really good one in your area, and you're just going to have to work really hard, and let's see what happens. Well, folks, within like three months, I was like, I had use of my fingers again, and I worked really hard every day. I, I like did exercise after exercise. I did like five hours of exercises a day. I'm not kidding. And um, it was exhausting. It was really hard work, but I got really lucky. And with under six months, which they said was impossible, I got back use of my hands and almost all of my arms. Uh, to this day, I have right arm weakness. So like yesterday, when I hauled all that heavy stuff from the housewares, the dollar store, I, my arm was really tired afterwards. But if you look at me, you wouldn't know that I was par fully paralyzed. You wouldn't know, and I think that's remarkable. In, in fact, even when I started getting back part of use of my body, the doctors and specialists were like, it's gonna take over a year for you to regain full use. And even that's gonna be a miracle. Well, folks, I did it in less than six months. But it was hard, and I'm very blessed because the truth is, there is no way that I was guaranteed to get this back. Some people have this happen and never get back use of their limbs at all. So I was super lucky. Well, what does this have to do with Nash the Wonder Puppy? Well, I needed to get a service dog. My specialist insisted that I get a service dog because my husband travels so much for work. And these vascular attacks are very dangerous. They come on without warning. And what happens is you you can wake up or not wake up, quite frankly, and they're very serious. So I needed a way to alert emergency services. And even those life alert things, it wasn't good enough because they don't detect if someone's lying flat and something happens. So we needed a, a service dog. And I was like, I am not replacing Nush. I'm sorry. This dog is the joy of my life. And they were like, well, guess what? You don't have a choice. And the reason you don't have a choice is because only 1% of regular dogs can be converted to a service dog. 1% folks, that's it. And those are younger dogs. So all of the experts in this field told me there was no way that Nush could be converted because at that time she was 12 and three quarters and she was too old to learn all the, the things. She would never pass the exam. There was no way. And I was like, oh yeah, let me prove you wrong. So Nush and I worked really hard every day 
and by hard I mean really hard, and we worked with this amazing trainer named Allison, who is incredible, and she worked with Nush, she worked with me, and then we practiced for hours. And guess what, folks? Nush not only passed the first exam, the one you have to pass to be named a service dog, but this wonder dog passed the difficult second exam that most young service dogs don't pass. The one that lets her travel with me on planes, on boats, on trains. This dog can come with me wherever I go. And that is a, an amazing gift. Um, and it's an amazing thing because she travels free of charge. She travels with me on the plane. And it's all because this dog chose to do the work. So she is an amazing dog. Now in the US there is a law that says at 14 dogs must be retired. It's mandatory for a service dog to be retired. But Nush turned 14 just a little, uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I had my vet make an appeal and he wrote in a very long appeal to the government and said, guys, this dog does not need to be retired. She is super healthy, super happy, loves working. There is no reason to retire this dog. So we got a stay, a one year stay, and now she gets to be a service dog for another year. What will happen then, I can't tell you. I am never parting with this dog. She is the great love of my life, besides my husband and my children and my grandchildren. Th this dog is my hero, because why did she do this for me? I do, I'll never know. Um, but I am blessed because she did, and so she will be with me forever. Uh, but if we have to add another dog, we'll have to figure that out then. But I think she'll be depressed, folks. She loves this job. She loves working, and she loves the Holy Land. Can I tell you, everyone walks around, they call her Hamuda Kelev, which means the beautiful dog, because they don't put bows in their dog's hair here. So um, they think she's a beautiful puppy. But this is Nush the Wonder Dog, folks, uh, age 14 and working each and every day. Thank you, Nush, for being on camera. We're grateful. And that was it, folks. Just wanted you to meet Nush. Take care and bye for now.